You know, during the holiday seasons, a lot of us get the beautiful, big blooms of the amaryllis given to us as gifts. Now, after they're done blooming, sometimes we don't know what to do with them. If you're one of those people that would like to keep them again and try to get them to rebloom for the next holiday season, we've got some tips on how to do that. When the weather turned warm, we put this out on the deck so it would get some extra sunshine. You want to make sure that the bulb got nice and nourished for the coming holiday season. But as you can see, the foliage is starting to die back, so we are going to cut it back. Yeah, and once it does start to fade, you can just take your pruners and you go in right at the base and give it one quick snip. And then you also want to remove all of um, the roots and all of the old soil. Make sure that you kind of um, see if the bulb is nice and firm. If it's soft at all, you do have to discard it and then get a fresh one for the coming holiday season. Now once you do get the bulb completely clear of roots and soil, all you have to do then is play the waiting game. You need to put it in some place where it's about 55 degrees, so cool and dry. And then you just leave it set until like around the end of October. Um, then you want to get some fresh soil and make sure that you put it um, in a, um, it back in the pot and make sure you water it. And then in a few short weeks, you'll be seeing that flowering stem and you'll be able to enjoy it for the holidays. So if you're thinking to yourself, I'd like to see those blooms again this coming <laughs> Christmas, these are the simple steps you do to make sure that this amaryllis will bloom again for you.